About six months ago, we did a short video tutorial about how to wax your board, during which our video guy, Mac, decided to keep me muted the entire time. There were pros and cons to that decision. The pro was that it kept it short and sweet and snappy, but one of the cons was that it didn't allow us the time to dig into the most frequently asked questions that we receive about waxing your board and keeping things fast and slick. That's what we're going to do in this video, and we're going to dig into as many of those questions as we can remember that we've seen come in. If we miss your question, please post it down below and we'll get to it as soon as we can. Now we are going to dig into talking about the pegs, the buttons, what product to use, the how-to of it all, and a very frequent question is, how do you know when it is time to re-wax your board? So the first question we get all the time is, Jeremy, should we remove the pegs before we wax the board? My answer to that is no. Absolutely not, never ever, 100% negatory. In fact, Mac, can you go ahead and look up as many languages as you can find how to say, hell no. That was a little quicker than I was expecting. De Jito Ninham, Jiguku, Surmont Pa. Even when someone brings their board to our shop, even though we have all the tools there and loads of experience working with boards and the pegs, we still do not remove the pegs unless we absolutely have to. Yin boxing. If you know, no. And honestly, you probably could get away with removing them and putting them back in one, two, three times, but the challenge is every time you do that, you run the risk of damaging the wood that the threads of that screw go into. The other challenge that if you have is if you use a spray wax like the one we recommend, it is moisture, and with the pegs not in the holes, you run the risk of that moisture, that wet wax, getting into raw, unlacquered wood. So the point is you're going to be far better off just leave the pegs in, work around them, and get back to playing the greatest game on earth. So, in recap, Neige Rel Musha Boo. No, absolutely no. Do not remove the pegs. The next question we get a lot is what product should we use to wax the board? And we absolutely recommend this Mother's California Gold Spray Wax. And we are going to put links to our affiliate, Amazon affiliate link below to both the Canada site as well as the US site. And I think if you click on those links, even if you're from another part of the world, you should still be able to find this exact same product. Now, side note, we recommend this for the Tracy board. If you do not have a Tracy board, highly recommend that you get in touch with your manufacturer and ask them what product they recommend. There's a good chance this product will be fine, but maybe not. I can't speak for those products. I have actually even seen Crokinole boards that don't even have a spray lacquer finish on them, so the raw wood, spraying a liquid wax onto raw wood is not going to end well. So great for our boards. If it's anywhere else, please check in with them. Some of the reasons that we recommend this spray wax is it's very affordable. I believe it was between 10 and 14 Canadian dollars to pick this up and it will last for a very long time. I don't know how many boards you'll wax with this or how many times you'll wax your board with this, but it is a lot. It will keep you going. Two, most importantly, it is so easy to use. You'll see once I get into the how-to, it is fast and easy. You'll be back to playing in no time. We used to use a product called Carnuba Paste Wax. She says this is a $9 job with some Carnuba wax. Now while it was effective and would make your board very slick, the challenge was that it was very persnickety to use, very particular. Some people would even say it was pedantic. You had to be so specific with the application of how you used it that a lot of times the end result wasn't what you were looking for. You'd need to put this on, nice coat, wait 20 to 30 minutes till it looked a little bit cloudy and then buff it off just right. But if you didn't buff enough off, then this paste was left behind actually slowed your board down, not what you want. If you buff too much, then it was like you didn't even do it because you buffed all the wax right back off and it was just so persnickety on how it was used. Whereas this is so simple, so user friendly. You'll see again here in just a minute, you'll see as I do that, fast, easy, anybody that has a few minutes can speed up their board and be back to super slick, fun, flicking entertainment. 
Now, this is the how-to of applying this Mother's California Gold Spray Wax. The first thing you wanna do is you, you remove all your buttons, your 20 holders, everything like that. Get that out of the way for now. We're gonna talk about the buttons here in a minute. The other thing you're going to wanna do is take a vacuum cleaner and vacuum up, remove all the all the uh, playing wax from the gutter, the playing area, the center hole, all that. But all you want is a basic vacuum cleaner to suck it up. And you'll see the one I used. I do prefer this bristled end, so it's a little bit of softness. I, I have one of those, I have easy access to it. It just makes this a little quicker and easier. But even if you don't, even if you've got a hard plastic, it's not like you have to have this. I would just encourage you to be a little bit careful. It's not even like you can't touch your board. You're just not gonna wanna bang on it and be or put pressure and scrape across. Basically just common sense, but just be a little bit gentle with this. But you're still going to be able to remove all that playing wax and have a nice clean starting surface and you're good to go. So that's step one. Step two, the actual application of the wax. What I find the best way to go, four squirts, one in each quadrant is just roughly how much you want. So you're going to start one, two, three, and four, and then start with your cloth and immediately start, as soon as it's on there, immediately start buffing. You see it in stress about it, you just don't need to you know, set a timer for five minutes. You right away want to start buffing this back off. Well, you'll find there's a bit of pressure here as you do this. Once you get, you don't have to do this, but what I find works really well is I have a second cloth ready to go. So I'm getting the most of this out of the gutter, off the board, but then I'm going to switch to a second cloth, which is dry, and it's going to get that last bit of moisture. And again, because we didn't remove our pegs, we want to get nice and tight around those, get all the moisture from away, away from there. If you left a little bit behind, it's not really going to hurt anything. It's just your playing wax is then going to stick to it. And it's just it's not ideal. Again, you're not hurting anything, just not the, the great result that you're looking for. And then what I'm going to encourage you to do, what you'll notice as you're doing this is partway through, you'll just, you almost feel it free up. Like it just starts to slide more easily. That's you, that's how you know when you're on the right path because yeah, that board is getting slicker. I'm going to stand up, put a little bit of elbow grease into this just to make sure I get that last bit done. So step one, you vacuum the wax. Step two is one, two, three, four squirts. Step three is you're going to take a dry cloth. I find an old t-shirt. Obviously you want it clean. You don't want a greasy rag, but uh, you know, some sort of t-shirt material works great for this. And you're just going to work that until it just buffs right back to smooth and slick. We do put a coat of wax on every board before we ever ship it out. So you're probably not gonna need to worry about this for at least a month or two after you get your board. But that is when the time comes this is how you go about doing it. Now the next question that we get quite often is people will ask, do I also need to wax my buttons and how often? So that's what we'll dig into next. So when it comes to doing your buttons, here's what I'd recommend. Take a cloth, a towel of some kind, lay it out on the table and lay all your buttons out. And then how much wax to use? I would encourage you to use one squirt for each color. So I've got, uh, I've got black and white buttons out here. So I'm gonna do a squirt there and a squirt there. And then what I would do is one at a time, I would flip them over and buff them as you so you're buffing just the backside where it's been sprayed, like so. We're going to do, uh, we're gonna give those a better buff later. We just wanna get the majority off right now. And we definitely wanna hit both sides so you know, um, you know they've been done. You sprayed one side, you buffed one side, now the same thing. We wanna put one more on each side. And then what you can do is have another cloth because you can pick each one up and give it a good proper buffing. So then uh, as you do each one of those, you just set it to the side. Then 
there you have it. I would say that uh, I didn't put a timer on, but I'm saying, guessing it took me three to four minutes to wax my board. It probably took that long, maybe even a little bit longer to, uh, to do the buttons, to go through each one and uh, buff it off there. But uh, you know, maximum, let's round up and say it took 10 minutes. Definitely feels 10 minutes well spent to get your board fast and slick. Once that's done, you really don't need to sit around and wait any time at all. You can do wax your board, wax your buttons, and then get right back to flicking. So one of the questions we'll get is, okay, if I decide to wax my buttons, how often do I need to do them? And I have people that will tell me that they like to wax the buttons every single time they do their board. Other people like to wax their buttons every other time they do their board. And how often you need to do your board is gonna depend on a couple of things. One is how often do you play? Two, you know, how much is it, uh, how much is it left out and exposed to dust and things like that? In fact, we are very soon going to release a video that shares our top tips on how to keep your board fast. It's not just about waxing the board, but basically if you follow the tips we share in that upcoming video, it should mean that you need to wax your board and your buttons less often in order to maintain this fast, fun experience. But I will also say one of the absolute best ways to know when and if you need to wax your board is to connect with other players. So you're playing on your board, you're playing on their board, because one of the great things that also makes it challenging is that the, the slowdown of your board is so gradual that sometimes you won't even notice. It's just such a slight progression that you may not even notice. But if you go over to your friend's place and play on his board, it's like, wow, that's how slick mine used to be. I better give mine another waxing. So this is where I'm going to recommend that you take advantage of our Crokinole Connections map. Get yourself up on that map and it will give you the opportunity to connect with other people in your area that love this game as much as you do. There you have it, there's our answers to the most frequently asked board and button waxing questions. If we did miss anything, please let us know in the comments down below. We will answer as quickly as we can there, as well as maybe it'll be the subject of a future video. But that's our tips for today, and until next time, please continue to enjoy the greatest game on earth. So now, a step number, then I don't even know what step we're on now. Are you laughing at me again? <laughs> <clears throat> I probably shouldn't say that. <clears throat> Can't remember what's next to my script, so I'm gonna stare to speed up waxing. <clears throat> wow, jeepers. The Diavolo, no. Helvit Nish. Mimi Thang. Dupekla Nish. Groghi Tani Vooch. Even with, the, even though we, <clears throat> wow. And we're going to put um, our affiliate, li <clears throat> I don't like that. Still rolling? Yeah. Unfortunate. <clears throat>